Hey everyone, Antonio here from xheli.com. What I have today for you guys is the new Artec uh, 400 uh, class coaxial helicopter. I have over here uh, pretty much a standard, not saying they don't make anything smaller, but this is pretty much your standard coaxial that you'll find anywhere. And you can see just the size, it's significantly bigger. Uh, what you can expect from that size is, you know, the main thing you can expect, I'd say, is stability. Uh, just like in cars and planes and whatever, the bigger it is, the more stable it's gonna be. Uh, it's going to be able to take a little bit more wind. Uh, so this helicopter, if you're outside, you know, not too gusty, will take a little bit more wind than your uh, standard smaller helicopter. Uh, giving you a rundown on the electronics, this helicopter does have two 9-gram servos, uh, two 390 brushed motors. Powering those two 390 motors is this 1600 11.1 uh, Artec battery that comes included. Also comes included is the charger for that battery. Um, I highly recommend you guys charging these batteries before you do that first flight. Not They come with uh, some charge in them, but I highly recommend you guys charging these batteries. So that's that, they come with a banana plug, obviously a banana uh, coming out from the ESC. Um, also comes with a PCB board. That PCB board does all the mixing for you, uh, does all the hard work for you. All you gotta do is fly it, uh, pretty much. Um, this helicopter is fly bar, you guys can see. So, you know, with, it's nothing new. We've all seen the fly bar and it just makes it very stable. Um, also pre-installed on this helicopter are these um, foam filled blades. Uh, I think the main reason <coughs> Arctic did these foam filled blades is for you guys flying indoor. Uh, we all know you guys have expensive furniture, uh, pictures, uh, whatnot. If these blades do hit that, I'm not saying it won't damage it, but it probably will damage it a lot less than these uh, plastic ones hitting. Um, but I still highly recommend, you know, don't run into anything on purpose. Don't put your hands uh, in the blades because it won't kill you, but it will hurt you a lot. Um, so let's say if you ever do damage these foam blades, uh, Artec does give you spares. Uh, like I mentioned, these plastic ones. Uh, there is a correct, there is a top and bottom blade. Uh, don't want to, you know, put a bottom blade on top or a top on the bottom because uh, your helicopter won't fly. Uh, the blades will be going backwards and you, that's pretty much a common occurrence that I always find. It's a question. Uh, that people ask, why isn't my helicopter flying? And the first thing I ask them is make sure uh, you got the right blade, whether it be the top or the bottom, where they should go. Uh, so, oh, also, if I didn't mention, this is a four channel helicopter. Artec does include their four channel radio. Uh, I've done some tests flying on it. Uh, flies great, no problems at all. Um, they give you a little LED light on top. I believe it, flash, it flashes blue if I'm correct. Uh, you know, nice scale body, uh, scale tail rotor, doesn't do anything just for looks. When the air is uh, blowing, uh, you guys will see it start spinning or whatnot, but there is no motor back there. Uh, this body is supported by, it has uh, inner foam uh, all on the inside. So you guys see how I push on it, not flexing, push on it, doesn't flex, doesn't flex. So uh, when you do crash, you know, if that wasn't filled with foam, if you did crash, it'd be very easily to damage that, crack it, whatnot. Uh, so, uh, what I'm going to do now is plug up the battery for you guys and uh, show you guys how this new 400 size Artec helicopter flies. Alright, really quickly guys, uh, I want to show you guys the battery compartment uh, on this Artec uh, helicopter. Uh, this battery does have a little uh, compartment up front and be sure to slide it, um, we'll see right now, I think it's somewhat forward, you know, about a quarter, um, I mean about an inch hanging out and you put that in. Let me get the radio. Turn on the radio first, throttle down, plug up the battery. You guys can see that LED light that I was talking about earlier, the blue LED light. There we go, we have control. We have aileron, elevator. Uh, make sure everything's going the right direction. When you go forward, uh, the swatch plate goes forward. When you go right, uh, the swatch plate go, goes right, obviously. Um, this helicopter might need a little bit of trimming. I'm not saying it comes perfect uh, from the factory. You might need very little trimming, especially when you're outdoors and stuff. So let me get her on the ground and show you guys how it flies. All right, I have the battery plugged in on this new helicopter. I quickly want to show you guys something I figured out. It's, you know, nothing fancy, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, these wheels are functional on the helicopter. So you can actually taxi it around. You know, it's nothing fancy, but I don't know. The other day I was having fun with it. Practice your taxiing around. So now, let me actually get it flying. Let me get out of the frame. Let 
Let me trim it out a little bit, put some more rudder into it. And the reason I'm doing this review in this closed space is just to show you guys just how maneuverable uh, this 400 helicopter is. Obviously, if you're, you know, new at the coaxial, try to not do it in such a closed area. But it's always good to know that when you do get experience, you can do it in a closed uh, area. So. And when you guys do, if you guys do want to try it outdoors, uh, like I mentioned, since it is a little bit heavier, it's more stable aircraft, so it can handle a little bit more of a wind. Uh, but like I said, nothing too dramatic outside. You know, you don't want too high of winds because it will uh, drift away. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys, if you do trim this helicopter out perfect, you should, you should be able to do hands off, like so. So that's all by itself. The radio is right there, no one's touching it, and not too much drifting, so you guys can see just how stable this helicopter is. So Arctic did a really good job of, you know, getting the, what a coaxial helicopter should fly like, and bringing it in a bigger size, you know, is what I truly love about it, because you guys can see just how stable this helicopter is. So you guys want to get into helicopters and you've maybe flown the small three channels, perfect helicopter to, you know, hop up to the four channel and really have some fun. And a very attractive body that uh, Artec did is what I really like also. Uh, and this battery does last well over six minutes. Haven't actually got the time, but I know it has lasted me well over six minutes. Um, Another thing I do want to mention, you do need AA batteries for your transmitter. Those are not included, but you know, no biggie. Head over to the store or take some out of, you know, remote. It does take eight AA batteries, so. And when you guys do really get the hang of these helicopters, you can maybe build uh, a little bit bigger one like you guys can see that I'm hovering right in front of. You guys could get into the six channel and we do also offer bodies for the bigger helicopter you guys can see there so let's bring it in for a landing let me disconnect the battery just to be safe so uh you guys might have been noticing a little bit of vibration or whatnot the reason for that is the foam filled blades the plastic are a lot stiffer so they'll do you know, there's not that much dampening happening and it'll go away with those because I've tried up, you know, might not go away 100%, but you'll get a lot of that away. Other than that, you know, you guys saw for yourself, the hands off hover, that thing stayed there for a good 15 seconds uh, without me touching it. And just like I said, Arctic really got the true uh, meaning of a coaxial uh, helicopter. Being it out in a 400 size is just that much better. So this helicopter is in stock already at xheli.com. Be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.